Hello guys, it's Elliot here, and today, I'm going to be doing, yep, another review. Now, I just got a late birthday present, so there, there's many reviews going to be coming. So, um, this is a double jump duel race set by Hot Wheels. Um, and, set, and it says, two cars make the jump, only one survives. It has a picture of kind of a ramp going up there and a landing pad trap door and I'm um, this I've already opened this up as you can see here because of course it's an early birthday present how could I not open this up right when I get it so um I won't be showing you how to build this thing just because I mean it's, it's instructions when you get it just read the instructions it's that simple but I will have some tips when I show you the actual track but anyways um it says car included um now the picture of what's the car's name? I think it's like I don't know actually the car's name. It might say on the box somewhere, but uh, anyways, connect connect to other sets. Yeah, at the very end, it's got a little piece that you can connect to other sets. But anyways, cr it says crash into pit, extra high jump platform, trap door race them all so it has two pictures of launchers and this spinning thing I'll show you so as you can see it says fair start track section spin down it's got that now I'll explain how why that was there later but then it's got all these pictures race them all a picture of them jumping up and a picture of one making it and one falling through the trap door into the pit okay so um I'm not going to show you how to put it together, like I said, because it's not got instructions. So, here it is. I'll just show it right on camera. So, uh, this is the set. So, let me show you everything. So, first, when, first you've got this piece. I'll, I'll tell you why it's here right now. So, basically, you want it to be all the way up here, like this like that see that this needs to clip on to the front if it's not I've had this before um then then like if it's facing the wrong way like when it falls I can twist this and now it's facing the wrong way then when you put it up when you want to hook it on it's facing the wrong way just twist it as hard as you can and you'll eventually get it to be right and then it pr you press the button at the top, comes down, then you suddenly launch your cars. Yeah. Is this meant for two people, I think? Where, like, there's maybe your sister or something, or maybe two brothers, and basically this starts up, up at the top, and then they're both ready, ready for launching their cars, and then when you press the button, they're all ready, and then boom! Starts the car, it launches the car forward, and um, but now I'm actually going to be doing um some test races. So the cars I'll be using is uh the car that came with the track. I don't know his name actually. Uh, Impavito One, Nerve Hammer, Chicane, and yes, this is a chicane from the thing where you can make your own uh a uh, custom custom um paint jobs where you have a, a kind of see-through sticker and you can spray some stuff it's with light it's kind of hard to explain I'll just it's not an original normal chicane anyway and then the other two what yeah these guys are mutant machines I got these for my birthday the review the review for those might not be already up but if they are then you'll see something right there click it and You'll probably get to the review. Now, this is uh, mutant, uh, mu uh, mutant Machines Commander, Commander Croc and Top Speed GT. Um, so, we're going to be using them. So, first, let's look at the mechanism for this. So, once this has gone down, let's say this car, here's just an example. I'll do it with one car. So, let's do this. So, let's get this at the top. And I'll be doing a view from it, from, let's see here, let me get it in a good view. Okay, I think this is the best view I'm going to get. So, here we go. 
You gotta get. Okay. There we go. So, let's see when he goes over here. This is the car in Povito 1. When he launches himself up here, he drives down, and then the trap door opens. And then when another car comes, let's use the car that comes to set. When another com car comes, oh, it falls out. Now, have noticed some problems where it doesn't always land in the pit, but sometimes it does. And that's what this piece is for. This piece is for blocking the car from going up. It's 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 kind of blocking the car, so it goes directly down into the pit. But it doesn't always work. Like, I mean, oh yeah, this is the thing that opens the trap door. When this thing gets pushed, opens the trap door, and the cars all oh, fall down. Anyways, now let's do some actual racing. So let's do Impavito One versus uh, he doesn't have a. I don't know his name. I know he has a name, but anyway, so see which one works better. So let's take this to the top. Oh yeah, some tips before we race. Some tips about if you're, it says on the instructions, but it doesn't exactly clarify, I don't think. So uh, let me see, yeah, here, troubleshooting. Um, it says here, why does the fair start ramp land on the track facing the wrong way? I always showed you how to fix that, so let's go to the next one. My cars keep crashing on the track for no reason. What's the problem? Now that, I've had problems with that, but it says like, clear our, all obstructions on the track, adjust the side walls at connection points. What they mean is, it's kind of hard to, it's kind of hard, but it's something as simple as this. Keep these things pinch and flare. Of course, these are hard plastic, so I can't flare it. But they have these little edges for a reason to keep this edge. So when you get your car here, it just goes right through smoothly. But if it was going the other way, then it would clip the side of this pointy part. But if it's on the other side, it would get smooth right by up into the jump the problem I had this part on the outside I mean on the wait this is supposed to be on the outside I put it in the inside sorry guys um this is supposed to be on the outside because when it is on the inside when it comes down of course it clips there so I'll need to fix that right now so just one second that looks good so now let's actually do the race yeah I know you've been waiting for this for a very long time, so let's go up, put it up here, and now let's see if I what's the best view. Just one second, let me get a good view of this. Just ignore the thing in the background, the 600th way. But just a second, there we go. So it's going the car. Um, where's my finger? There it is. The car is going to start there, then go up here when it's when it goes to the bottom. Then it's got to jump up here, and then one of them's got to fall through the trap door onto that thing, and the rest, and the other one's got to go back out of the camera where I can't see. So, I can't see the whole track, because this is a big track. It's not small, but I did the best I can. So, let's see here. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, and it looks like this car wasn't good enough to make it all the way up, but let's do that again so we can see who really does win. So, because I know you guys want to actually see some action here and see one fall through the trap door. So, let's do that. Let's put this back up. Oh! This, this time, the Incovito made it and he just barely slipped off so let's try that one more time i don't want to worry you guys with the same cars but i want i i know you guys want to see the car that came with the track actually do good so let's do this oh this time it was 
was a definite win to the car that came with the trap. The Impovito fell into the pit of doom. That's not what it's called, but I don't care. So, those, so this car won that one. So now let's do Nerve Hammer versus Chicane. I've never actually tried these cars on this track, so I don't know if they're going to do bad or good. We'll see. So, yeah, I found that the second, there's different, um, different, uh, levels of power on these launchers. Um, I recommend two, actually. Even though that doesn't seem very much, that's actually good, I think. Unless you have really bad cars. Oh, yep, like these ones, these are really bad cars, apparently. So let's do it on three instead of two. So let's try these. That. Oh, Chicane, Nerf Hammer won, but Chicane fell off. So let's do that again. they're going to do really bad. So, let's do this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Well, wow. Uh, C uh, Commander Croc here has uh, went backwards, and Red actually made it up here, but fell over. So, that didn't really work. I'm going to try it. I'm just going to do it one more time. And if they don't do it one time, then I might, I might do it one more time if I really want to. So, let's do this. First, I'll see how many minutes are in the camera if this one's a fail. So, at least if one of them makes it. So. Oh, Red this time made it. So, what, okay. So, I guess the winner was Red for the croc. Nerf Hammer, Nerf Hammer won against Chicane. Uh, Coffee DT won against Commander Croc, and I have no clue what his name is. Won against Impavita One. So, uh, so um, yeah. So if you enjoy, it, oh, oh yeah. And what they meant by attaching it to other track sets is at the very end, they come down here, and you can attach it like a booster or a loop or anything you want actually but you could do a track set oh yeah and if you're wondering this is gonna this is gonna hurt my car when it falls i was worried about that too but no it's just rubber don't worry uh anyways so um if you enjoyed like comment and subscribe bye